Hey YouTube, welcome to another round of questions homesteaders get asked. Today the question is, will banks finance off-grid land and homes? And this question comes uh, directly to us from uh, our circle of friends and family and uh, them inquiring as to what in, uh, what's involved to acquiring uh, either a homestead or a piece of land that's off-grid or anything like that. So maybe Kimberly can take that over. Yeah, so yeah, so we've been asked that uh, by quite a few people, so we thought we would do a video on it because uh, it is a question that we've been asked. So your short answer is uh, no, they won't finance uh, off-grid land or off-grid homes in the traditional sense of a mortgage. So it is possible um, to get one, it is possible uh, to, to have one through multiple different avenues, um, but the short answer is that you're going to be looking at some different options other than your traditional uh, interest and, and mortgage payments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, when we did look into uh, moving off-grid uh, or to a homestead, we, ha we looked in originally in Ontario, and for one, the prices are getting ridiculous out there, or are ridiculous at... Uh, the present time now, two years later. But even when we were looking there, the prices were astronomical. And if you were to have a off-grid or homestead property that you want completely um, independent of the system, in Ontario, you can't do that. The uh, homes that are off-grid still have to have a backup a connection to the city utilities so that's going to be your water uh your your electricity and potentially your natural gas depending on your heating source uh so bc was your next option and uh was our next or option. was yeah. our next option because we don't want to live <laughs> in the prairies because who wants to see their dog run for days um so in Moving out here, yeah, we bought it outright, but in order to get financing, uh, we looked around as well, and uh, there are, I believe, a credit union, maybe it was a bank that we looked into, that mm -hmm. would offer us potentially, uh, depending on certain, certain circumstances, but that would involve insurance on the property and so we inquired on that and the cost of insurance for this property would be seven hundred dollars per month uh and so once we heard that number everything else went off the table <laughs> went out the but, window. Uh, off the window yeah. and so we said we're not doing that so we had to kind of bite the bullet and put up the money up front but in the long run i think that's it a win it, sure. it's a win for us it's, yes it's 100 percent a win yeah um yeah, so we did have to buy the property outright, um, but that's not to say that you can't go with a traditional mortgage. Um, one of the biggest issues, uh, just as Andre said, was one of the issues that we ran into. One of the biggest issues kind of around uh, what the Western society anyways, um, is being able to get a mortgage because of home insurance. Um, so your home insurance is going to vary depending on where you live and how far you are, etc. Um, but it's always going to be more expensive than your than your typical home because off-grid homes uh, are are usually out in the middle of nowhere so your price is going to go up on your home insurance and in order to get a mortgage you have to have house insurance they won't give you one otherwise so just a consideration if you're planning on uh, going off-grid or you're wanting to look at a property um, another consideration uh, that you could do is to have something that's partially off-grid Andre mentioned that you know there's different hookups that you have to have if you're in Ontario uh, but in other provinces or in some of the states, the rules are a little bit more lax. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on the regulations where you are, um, if you're looking into getting something that is a mortgage, you have to make sure that you're following those regulations that they have. Uh, so I know that in the states, or in, in the states, uh, Texas and Alabama um, and Alaska are three of the best, uh, or you would say the three of the most lax uh, states to live in, in terms of being off-grid because they don't have uh, as many rules for getting a mortgage right. in the first place mm -hmm. yeah yes and also if you do look at um purchasing a uh, off-grid homestead you could get something potentially closer to a city the reason our insurance is so high is because one we're um 
three to five hours, if not longer, for emergency services. <laughs> so if you ever had an emergency, like a fire in the house or something like that, basically the insurance is gonna write it off and give you a check for a brand new uh, property and everything that's involved. So if you do find some, uh, look for a homestead or an off-grid property, uh, look for something close to the city that might help you obtain a mortgage uh, and your insurance being a little, uh, little cheaper but in the long run a lot of the banks and lenders do not want them because one they're government regulated and of course the government wants you to be uh dependent upon them and they don't want you to be self-sustainable so they're gonna make it as hard as you can uh conspiracy theory or not uh that's basically what it is that's not a conspiracy theory that's straight facts if yeah. you look into trying to get a mortgage with off-grid it's they will throw barrier after barrier into absolutely your way. so um that's yeah that's just straight facts um something that you could do if you are uh uh, stuck with getting a mortgage um, would be to look at something that is partially off-grid that would lower the cost of your insurance as well Absolutely. Um, a big thing for that would be um, a wood-burning stove that you could potentially put in your home now I know that as of late I think within the last two years actually they've now classified uh, any wood stove that's in a house as a quote-unquote hazard because a fire could start mm -hmm. um, So that might actually jump your insurance up, uh, but that's a case-by-case -case basis Definitely a consideration to uh, to take into into your thoughts. Absolutely, and we found that out because we're looking at uh, releasing some equity and doing some investments however, there are again like Kimberly said lots of barriers out there and anyone that would open up to us, they would ask what is your water situation, what is your heat situation, and just based on those two facts there, uh, because you don't have permanent water and you have heat, uh, wood heat as your primary source, they look at that as a hazard and it's not, uh, it's not acceptable in their uh, rules or regulations or their boundaries. Mm -hmm because it's considered something that is a, a high risk a high risk investment because um, mm. you have to think of from the bank side and from lenders sides or whoever is giving you the money for a mortgage or whatever that's an investment for them because that that's what interest is that's their investment that they're making back on it uh, so if you if you are uh, giving them what what they consider to be a high risk investment obviously that interest rate is going to be a lot higher mm -hmm. um, so in terms of the the actual cost of owning an off-grid home I would say it's definitely better to go uh, to go straight and buy it outright, but if that's not an option, those could be some other options for you. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on uh, your finances as well, uh, if you're looking at going off-grid, uh, you could look, at, depending on the area looking at, uh, for instance, if we stayed in Ontario, we could not do this in Ontario, just surely on the cost of the properties out there uh, never mind all the other things that come along with getting a homestead uh, so if you're looking to uh, do a little cheaper look at places that are not very popular somewhere out on the outskirts uh, the, the property we bought here was probably about 25 percent of the the cost of um, what, what we would have bought back yeah. home. So yes, we did have to move a huge distance, but at the same time, that benefit of finding something substantially cheaper uh, outweighs the con of driving 5,000 <laughs> or whatever kilometers it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and, and two, if you're looking at something that's buying, uh, that you can just start from scratch if you're looking for an alternative, um, because you don't want to do a mortgage or any sort of, uh, uh, regulated idea, um, something that you could do would be to buy just the land itself. Mm -hmm. Um, now you may have difficulties getting insurance at a later date if that's something that you're wanting to do with house insurance and whatever else, um, but buying the land outright, um, again, depending on where you are because it's more expensive depending on your your location um but you could buy the land outright and then build uh, from scratch there mm -hmm. now i know building materials have shot up 
enormously um, in the past two years so there's that cost to take into effect um, as well yeah just find somewhere wooded and build it with logs and you're good to go <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it just <laughs> yeah. skin it and you're good yeah sweat and labor that, Blood, that's sweat, and, and that's a, absolutely a, 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 another option you could do is just buy the piece of land and build over time and uh, if you're sitting there saying oh that can't be done or it'd be difficult yeah it's gonna be uh, you're not you're not gonna have a pretty time doing it but at least you're gonna be there you can at least start gardening and growing your own food uh, but a, a great example are some of the locals that we've met around here and uh, when they first moved out here they lived in a tent and they lived in a tent for <laughs> a couple uh, years spring, yes a couple years and that's <laughs> spring, spring summer, summer fall, fall winter, and winter and the winters day. back then they were saying we're getting into the minus 60 so uh, depending on where you live, uh, if you're anywhere f south of us, you're going to be having a warmer winter. I can guarantee you that. So it can be done. Uh, so It all depends on what's important to you, right? That's it. Uh, um, I think that's all the information yes, we have so, today. So yeah, long-winded answer. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a few ideas, a few uh, uh, thoughts if you're looking at getting an mm -hmm. off-grid home or off-grid property. I um, hope this was helpful. Yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Have Thank a great you. day, guys. Take care.